Jan Nordstrom Arnold. She's the co-founder and style director of Creative Nail Design, one of the top companies in the professional nail industry. She has truly become one of the beauty industry's beautiful people, topping the list of the handful of experts constantly sought out by the fashion and beauty press. Jan has made Creative Nail Design an A-lister on the world's red carpets and runways and is in year-round demand as a speaker on the beauty trade show circuit. She truly personifies success in our field, remaining true to her commitment to help cosmetologists and nail professionals throughout the world achieve their own brand of success. I am so grateful, Jan, that you took the time to spend with us today. You're one of the industry greats. I'm sorry, I'm not going to gush all over you, but you're one of the people that I've always absolutely admired. You built a company, you built it, you built it literally from scratch, from, from formulations in your mother's kitchen, which I think is great. <laughs> you and your brother, okay, exactly. using your father's formula, which is an amazing story, okay? Isn't it uh, tell, me, tell me about how Creative Nail came about. I mean, I, I know I kind of gave it away a little bit. I don't mean to do no, that. No, that's okay. First of all, it's great to see you. It's great to <laughs> be here. Well, you know, my dad was a dentist, mm -hmm. and he was a closet chemist. He had a degree <laughs> in chemist. chemistry. <laughs> and in the garage of our family home, he had a whole chemistry set up. And luckily for him, he had five children. We were all his guinea pigs, so when we grew up, he made uh, fluoride mouth rinse and toothpaste and hand lotion, but he never took anything to market. Right. So one day, after 36 years of being a dentist, a manicurist was sitting in his chair, and he was mixing up a liquid and a powder that had a very strong odor. She recognized it and said, that smells like the stuff that I use to extend nails with but I hate what I'm using. It's thick, it's yellow, there are problems. Can you- That's just what he wanted to hear, right? Exactly, okay. exactly. A challenge. A challenge. Can you sell me what you use? Because it's gotta be better than what I'm using. Right. So dad came home and instead of reading dental journals, he started reading Vogue. And all of a sudden he was like mixing up stuff for fingernails, analyzing the, the nail. And mom thought it was midlife crisis, you know? <laughs> and all of a sudden, these nail techs. It's a little started, scary when your when your when your dentist husband starts starts uh, oh, getting Vogue at, magazine. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And all of these nail techs from around the the area in San Diego would get his number and call and and ask for the doctor. And you know, I'm calling about the stuff. Can I get a bottle of the stuff? Right. And the, uh, stuff. the stuff. And so so my dad realized he had something very unique. Uh -huh. He submitted for a patent. He got it. And that's when he discovered, okay, now I have a problem. I've got a product that I can take to market, but I really don't want to start another business. Right. But I do have five kids. So he presented it to the kids, explained it to us, and uh, said, do any of you want to do something with this? So my brother Jim and I said, well, maybe we'll dabble on the weekends, in the evenings. What were you doing we'll... at that point in your life? So I was on a path of fashion merchandising. Right. So I had graduated school. I was ready to become a fashion designer, a fashion mm -hmm. merchandiser. And so in the evenings... And you were always the fashion plate. I'm telling you. I'm serious. You. It's but amazing. There's a passion. There's a passion Obviously. for the art side. Obviously. But um, no, so... So the two of us said, uh, we have interest. What, you know, we're, we'd love to do something with it. Mm -hmm. So that's when the bad news came. My dad said, okay, the good news <laughs> is I'm going to give you the formula and it's my gift because right. I love you as right. my children. The bad news is you can't have any money. Nice. Nice. Okay. So we're like, how do you start a business with no money? And, um, and so my mom was a little more lenient, allowed us to take over the bedroom and the kitchen. We had bottles and labels everywhere. Oh, she it. finally threw us out mm -hmm. and we were forced to go to, to get a loan. Right. So what I did is I went to my local cosmetology school and I said, I need to educate myself on this, the subject of nails. Mm -hmm. And I'll swap you product if you'll give me an education. And I learned how to do sculptured nails. And I was very good at it because I oh, was obviously. RC anyway. Oh, sure. 
So we went to the banker, we sat in his office with our stinky liquids and our powders. I'm sure he loved that. And loved it. And I did a sculptured nail on his pinky. <laughs> and I think he was horrified. On, on the banker's on pinky? On the banker's pinky. Now that's a new approach. It's that a really new is. approach. And he handed us some money and told us to get the heck out of his, <laughs> his office with our stinky stuff. Oh, that's such and a great story. To this day, I don't know if he believed in the vision or if it was just to get the odor get you out, out of there. his office. Yeah. Out of there. <laughs> but I'm telling you, the rest is history. And from oh. there, it was an entrepreneurial's rocket ship ride to the moon. Oh. Now, yeah. I'm, I'm going to throw you a curveball. Okay. What were your challenges? Just you personally. What what were what was your what was your low point? What was the point where maybe you thought that moment that you oh. thought, you know what, maybe oh. I'm not going to do this anymore? Oh, you're taking me back to probably yes, 1980. So we got out of the, the house, we got our own facility, mm -hmm. and now I find out that there are distributors oh. who have distributor sales consultants, mm -hmm. and they need to be educated on, on our stuff mm -hmm. so that they can go out and sell our product. Right. And so there is such a thing uh, as a sales meeting. Ooh. And and I was the designated person to go to the sales meeting, and because Jim was doing the business right. side and Dad was inventing products, and and my my biggest challenge and and I've conquered it and I'm proud about it is that I was an intensely shy person. I find that hard to believe. I know. Okay. I was very very shy, and I got up and somebody handed me a microphone and said talk about your product and I hyperventilated and I couldn't catch my breath oh my and I God. thought I was going to pass out oh my god and I remember seeing a hundred all men at the time there were there wasn't one female sales consultant <laughs> back way back oh, way then, back in, in the, the olden days back in the day and um, and I honestly thought I was going to pass out I made it through the meeting and I went home that night and I called my dad and I said not cut out for this Right. I hyperventilated. I, I like, I'm shy. Oh you know, gosh. how do I? How am I supposed to stand in front of a hundred people and talk? Public speaking is right. like, you know, worse than death. <laughs> and yeah. um, and Dad said, well, you know what? You're gonna have to get back up on the horse. You know, tough love. And and your dad was always tough love, wasn't he? Tough. He, he was really, a tough he, guy. Yeah, he, he was. was. You know, won't give I, us money. Yeah. You know, get back up on yeah. the horse. Cowboy up, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I would say that it was the toughest thing for me personally. I had to get up there. I had to talk about what I knew. It wasn't about me. It was mm -hmm. a huge lesson. Mm -hmm. You know, today I say that the the biggest form of selfishness is shyness because wow. you think it's about you and you think people are judging you and looking at you yeah. when in fact my job wasn't wasn't about me at all mm -hmm. my job was to talk about my product right. talk about what I believed in you better teach weren't and you? to teach right. to share my knowledge so so I would say it's my biggest accomplishment. I conquered it. That is so huge. Because this industry I conquered it. And and to this day I can speak anywhere around the world. Do I get nervous? Sure I do. It's an adrenaline rush, you mm -hmm. know, that tells me get up there, talk about what you know and have fun. If you can talk about what you know and have fun doing it, mm -hmm. guess what? You're doing your job. Right. If I can go around the world and meet with Russian nail professionals who were once under communist rule and couldn't become entrepreneurs, they couldn't open businesses, but today because of our products and our commitment to education, mm -hmm. they own their own businesses. They are thriving. And they are, are using their own creativity to follow their own dream. So Powerful stuff. Where does my passion come from? It comes from people like that. They're living the American dream in Moscow. How they about that? Are. Because of people like they you. Are. It's amazing. It's amazing stuff. It is. It it's really exciting. Is. It's it's slightly illegal <laughs> to have as much fun as we do. That's right. Get paid for it. Exactly. Pretty impressive, it's, right? It's amazing. You develop this whole company, you've done all this, you've overcome your demons. 
Yeah. Okay, and it's also, as you said, self doubt and self and mm -hmm. and, and 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 not feeling self confidence and everything else, and and overcome that, and then finally figured out you gotta be you gotta be able to sell who you are, your brand, and that's yeah. exactly what you've done. I had an experience one time where I taught a class. It went well. Everyone had a blast. And a young lady came up to me and she said, Jan, I just, I love learning from you. I love your classes. And I said, well, great, you know, are you using creative nail design products? Oh, no, no, no. I don't use your products. I just like to come to your class. <laughs> and I thought, well, well that was I'm, a failure, right? I'm doing something wrong right. here. No. Because I intensely believe in my products. It's why, mm -hmm. it, you know, what I do comes so naturally. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, why? Why? Why don't you use them? And she said, because no one ever asked me to. Oh, my God. And I said, What wow, a lesson. What a lesson. Yeah. You have to, ask for the, have to ask for the order, right? Well, you have to ask. And yeah. if I believe in it and I respect you, then I say, share some of the magic and, and the experience I've had. Mm -hmm. Please tr try my stuff. Mm -hmm. I think you'll like it. Mm -hmm. I invite you to try it. So it's a big lesson that I think for many of us who are natural artists, you know, we forget that, that we're in this to build a livelihood, mm -hmm. to build a business, that if we do well in asking for the order, asking for the sale, will you buy this to maintain your nails? Mm -hmm. That it's a gift to the person we're sharing with, as well as to ourselves. That's amazing. But right? that's a message. Isn't that a great message for, for cosmetologists? And, and for nail technicians and anybody in this industry. There are, there are young professionals, future professionals watching this right now. And I, I'm sure that they would want to ask this question. What would be your, your statement, what do I need to do to be successful? What can I do, maybe not to emulate you, but to, but to be challenged by you? What is it, what's the message you would leave for them? Mm. It's super simple for me. Dream, dream, find a dream. Find a big dream mm -hmm. and see that dream. Dream about it, think about it, tear pictures out of magazines, mm -hmm. find mentors that represent that dream for you and believe that you can achieve that dream. But first, identify that dream. Next, find people, surround yourself with people who bring the best out in you. Mm -hmm. If you're working with people who say, ah, oh, you're a dreamer, you're mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. Yeah, then find somebody else Quick. to connect with. Quick. You got the wrong friends. Because if you have friends that say, ah, oh, okay, there's your dream, I believe in you. I believe you can achieve that right. dream. And then get creative. Mm -hmm. Get creative with it. You get a roadblock, find a way to get around it. Get creative, find a new way. Invent a new strategy. Find another dreamer to say, okay, let's put our thoughts together. Mm -hmm. How are we going to make this happen? And never say no. If anything sends me through the, the roof is, is, is if someone says no to me. Right. Because then it really gets the creative juices Or going. that you can't do it. I mean, that cause, I can't cause do it. it's like, no. A, yeah. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. that, that's impossible. I'm the same way. It's impossible. I know exactly. you are. Well, look at what you've built. No, but it's, it, it's true, though. I mean, anybody, no matter what they've done in their life, if they can overcome that, if they can surround themselves with the right people, like you said, and dream it, they can do it. They Honestly, can absolutely do it. It sounds almost too simple. Mm -hmm. And then I'll add one more ingredient, hard work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hard work. Inspiration, perspiration. Totally, right. totally. It's exciting. It's so exciting what you can achieve if you're willing to work hard at something that you love to death. Mm. And then it's a pure joy. You know, it's, again, it's illegal. It's fun. It is. Uh, they say if you do what you love in your life, you'll never work a day in your life. It's perfect. And, and it's, it's absolutely true. I believe and it. you are a living example of that. And you were an inspiration, not, not only to the people that would see this, uh, but I'm telling you, Jan, you're an inspiration for me. And I'm just blown away oh. by you. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for you taking the time and spending time with me today. Thank you, Frank. This has been I'm great. This has been be absolutely here. great. Thanks so much. All right.